Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I like to show how to create a stereo panorama from a Revit model. So what I have here is a model that is basically a sample from Autodesk in Revit. So what I would need to do here is I'd create a camera from some sort of vantage point in the model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a floor plan. Maybe go to the first floor plan and I'll be then able to create a camera from here. So if I go up to the camera command, it will ask me kind of where to position it and where to kind of direct its, its, its eyesight or its line of, of vision to. So maybe I'll kind of put it right about here somewhere and then kind of have it looking out this window over here. So now it's going to jump me to that particular vantage point. And one thing I like to do though is I like to kind of control where the where the camera height is. So if I select that view, I should be able to show where the camera is. Oh, I have to go back to the floor plan to do that. So I can see the camera here, and if I select the camera, I can select what kind of level of detail it has. Let's put it to like a nice fine level here. And then also if I scroll down, I can set its basically its height its eye elevation and its target elevation if I kind of set these to something a little bit um, more appropriate for the height of a person. Then if I go back to that view one, kind of see if that looks decent. So uh, we're kind of just seeing the window here, but once I render this with the stereo panorama, you'll see we'll have a little bit better range of view here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to to begin rendering this. So if I go to the View tab, and I go to the Render in Cloud. It's going to kind of give me an overview of what the process is here. So I'm going to go ahead and say Continue. It's going to ask me which view, which is uh, view or 3D view one is the one that I'm on. I'll tell it I want to render a stereo panorama. Tell it I like a nice final quality render. I typically kind of again change my width up a little bit here. Tell it to email me when it's done, and then tell it to start rendering. I'm just going to tell it to continue in the background. And now I just have to wait for it to render in the cloud. Once the results are finished, I'll be posting the um, a link to the results of the Stereo Panorama to the It's a CAD World blog site. So please look for that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me to my email address on the screen there. And as, as always, thank you for watching.